In today's video, I'll take you along with me as I turn a corner of my bedroom into my new at-home art studio. I felt like it was time for me to make a dedicated space for making art so that you and I can hang out, be creative and be comfortable at the same time. Right now, I'm in my office. <laughs> this is where I work, record voiceovers and edit my videos. And I was also using this space for painting and for making art. But as you may know, your desk can become quite messy while you're in the middle of a painting. And this artistic mess can be wonderful, <laughs> but it made it really uncomfortable for me to attend any of my other responsibilities. The painting supplies would sit right in front of my screen, so I couldn't really see my screen while I was in the middle of a painting. Plus, painting is messy, <laughs> and I didn't feel comfortable having all that paint and all that water next to my computer. So I knew it was time for a change. And I'm lucky enough to have the space to make a corner for my art in my bedroom. So let's go plan that out. <laughs> Currently, this is what my room looks like. I have my bed here, the closet, boy's little house, my reading couch, and three small tables for my plants. I know I want to get some sort of storage unit for all my art supplies so that they're always accessible to me. I would like a standing desk and a bookshelf for my art books. I would also like this art space to always be organized. So I also want to address some of the issues that I'm currently having with this room. Some of the problems I'm having are not enough space for me and my partner's clothes, which always ends up in a mess of clothes. Also, this carpet sucks because it's hairy and it just gets dirty all the time. So I also want to change that. Oh, another problem I'm having is I don't really know where to put my easel because it takes a lot of space and I also have to think about that. I'm thinking I'm probably going to need to get a second closet for the clothes and a new carpet to fix these two issues. Now that I know what I need, let's brainstorm some ideas and think about how the room could look like. I think this is what I'll go for. My idea is to move my closet to the other side of the room and put the second closet there. I'll remove two of the small tables for the plants and get a big storage unit for my art supplies and put that here. I'm thinking my desk should go here in front of the window because of all the lighting that I can get. Then I can also put my bookshelf here and the easel can maybe go in this space. But I feel happy with this plan so it's time to go and measure everything and get the furniture that I need. I want to share with you the incredible moment that inspired me to create this art space because I know that it will inspire you too. So a few weeks back, my aunt came to visit me and stayed with me in my apartment. We talked about my dream of having a house and how I dreamed of having a dedicated art studio there. I wanted to have a place where I could feel creative, comfortable and inspired while making my art. But here's the thing, all of those plans were reserved for my future house. And the thing is, I live in a rented apartment and I never really considered it my true home my focus was solely on saving up for that future space I dreamed of. And I was sharing more of those future dreams with her. And that is when she dropped a truth bomb on me. She asked me, why don't you try to live your dreams now? It's great to save and dream about the future, but why not find an affordable way to bring yourself closer to your dreams today? Just stop living in tomorrow and start living in today. And her words hit me like a ton of bricks because she was absolutely right. I mean, maybe I couldn't have the ultimate dream art space right now, but that didn't mean I couldn't have a version of it today. I just needed to look at what I had in front of me and find ways to make it a little bit closer to my dream. And that conversation with my aunt became the catalyst for creating this video. And I wanted to share this message with you too. You can start living your dream life today. You can carve out a space in your own home, whether it be your office, your kitchen table, or anywhere else, and just start there. Make it comfortable and make it yours. And with each step, you'll be moving closer to the art space of your dreams. So don't wait for tomorrow and start embracing your dreams today. And take that first step towards living the life that you always wanted.
And this is how the art space turned out. I just love it so, so, so much. And I can't wait to share with you all the art that will be made in this new space. And I just wanted to let you know that I know that having an art space like this is somewhat of a privilege and that you don't need to have a space like this at all to follow your dreams and to do the things that you love. There are so many incredible artists that make their art from their kitchen tables. The only thing that matters is to try to surround yourself with things that keep you happy and inspired. When you're feeling good and content, that's when the creative magic happens. It's like everything just falls into place and you're just in the zone, <laughs> just letting your imagination run wild. The space that you're at doesn't really matter at all. Now that being said, I'm very grateful to be in a place where I can make this little art corner for us to hang out and to do some art. Let me take you on a little tour and show you the cool features of this creative space. So this is how my art corner turned out. I feel really inspired in it and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna start with the wall decorations because they're just so pretty. I'm very, very excited about them. This one was a little bit of a DIY project. This is just a um, piece of wood that I found in the forest on a walk. And I added some string, some postcards that I got from my trip to Japan. And at the end, I tied this fun looking rock that I also found on a, on a hike. Here we have some more nice inspiring decorations. Over here we have some cute little animals and air plants. Here are more plants <laughs> and postcards. And here are all of my brushes. I love that they're here because they're really accessible to me. Oh, this is what I ended up doing with my easels. So what I did is I just hang them on the wall. This way they're out of the way, but they're also very accessible to me and uh, they just look really nice. I love them. And here is the storage for my art supplies. Let me show you what I have inside. Here I have my palettes for painting, some yarn. Here are some computer stuff, my stand for the iPad, some unused sketchbooks that I will hopefully use at some point, and some notebooks and stuff. And then here, in this one, we have all of my refillable things. So I have extra colors and erasers and inks. I also have my masking fluid and my echo line. Underneath my oil pastels and the color pencils. And here are the watercolor color pencils. <laughs> here are in the back my acrylics, some inks in the front. Over there we have some oil and here I have some acrylic wash that I would really love to try. I've never tried it before. So let me know if you would like to see me try this out. And here on the next one, I have this little tray. The idea is to put my finished paintings here so I have like a place for them. Here I have my wash, just a nice looking box from Studio Ghibli watercolor supplies and my markers and over there I have some scrap paper in this box. Over here we're just going to ignore the cable management for now we're gonna get better with this but for now this is what we have <laughs> and I'm keeping over there all of my paper that I have. Let's just close this. Oop. Okay <laughs> and this is how it looks. Now let's go to my bookshelf. Over here I have some nice decorations and books that I am reading or already read or just inspire me. And in this loopy box <laughs> I have my incense to make my room smell nice. Over here I have my desk and this little cart. That is super handy because uh, I'm keeping all the things that I'm using constantly here. So I have like my mechanical pencils and like erasers and stuff and uh, pencil sharpeners, scissors and glue. Here I keep my iPad and the sketchbooks that I'm using and some electronic boring stuff. <laughs> and let's go to my desk now. This is how my desk looks. I have my computer over there in the corner some nice cute decorations. 
just made me so so happy <laughs> you're gonna get a little glimpse of my next painting let me know if you know what this is <laughs> very excited about this one i think i'm gonna paint it with wash but i'm not sure yet and yeah this is how the art space turned out all i can say is yay <laughs> And that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I can't wait to see all the beautiful art that we'll create in this space. Remember, it's not about the location, but about the joy of creating. So stay inspired. See you in the next one. Ciao.